And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube uh, for a great meme tier Monday deck. We're calling this one Ninja Robots 3000. Let's take a look. All right, so we're going to be an Adaptatron 3000 deck. So this is a one mana one three tech that whenever you summon an addition, you know any other tech, we share keywords. So this is a, a kind of a confusing thing, but basically it's whenever you summon it, that's when it checks. It's like it checks for a one time thing. So you have your Adaptatron 3000 in play, and then you play an additional tech, and right whenever you summon it, um, whatever keywords are on the Adaptatron, you send them permanently over to the, the new tech, and the new tech, if it has any keywords, it sends them permanently over to the Adaptatron. Okay, so that's, so that's what it does. So really what we want is we want this Adaptatron to have a lot of keywords, so that then whenever we summon new techs, we can give those new techs uh, these keywords. And we're going to try for some important keywords, like Elusive. Elusive is one of the best keywords, so we're going to have three copies of Sumpworks map, give the Adaptatron Elusive, so whenever we play some new techs, we, they all will have Elusive. And then we're also going to uh, use Young Witch to be able to give Adaptatron Quick Attack. And Quick Attack is going to matter because then we'll use Flurry of Fists, um, that if it has Quick Attack, give it Double Attack instead. Um, so yeah, so we're going to try to give double attack to the Adaptatron. So double attack plus elusive for each one of our techs. That could be pretty crazy. Um, we'll also have a card like Spirit's Refuge. They'll give barrier and lifesteal. Lifesteal is a great keyword to be able to um, have for the other elusives, or sorry, the other techs we'll have permanently. Um, let's see, so we're a ninja deck because we're playing Shen. Shen's pretty ninja-like, and then a lot of these Ionia cards are pretty ninja-like. Um, so we got that. We have the Monastery that can pick up the Dancing Droplet just to give us like a card draw engine. So we got that Monastery Dancing Droplet action going on. Let's see. As far as getting techs in play, we're going to have Production Surge that will be able to put all the turrets in play because each one of these turrets is a tech. And then, of course, Heimerdinger is our other card that puts the turrets in play. Um, so yeah, so this deck looks really cool. Hopefully it works. Hopefully we get, um, you know, hopefully we can get some cool stuff going with Adaptatron 3000 and we can have some nin ninja robots. That would be awesome. All right, here we go. We're going to go play a normal. Not expecting to go like 5-0 with the deck, but hopefully it could just work a couple of games. <laughs> Thresh Nasus, just immediately. <laughs> Where does a normal opponent have some chill? All right, we got Adaptatron, we got Production Surge. I like it. I'm not sure what Iterative Improvement's gonna do for us. Um, we could maybe mulligan the Iterative Improvement. I'm gonna keep it. I guess Iterative Improvement could just be an, an additional Adaptatron so that if they kill this Adaptatron, we have an additional one. I can also copy the Reaper and get Fearsome. I'll take two. All right, so yeah, so like the quick attack is just a temporary keyword. But now playing this one, now it's going to get quick attack permanently. The other one, you know, it's so it's not permanent, but now quick attack's permanent. Everyone's a garden. Um... Why do they have to have no chill? Like, look at... Just relax. Let us do our thing. I guess I'm just going to play one of these right now. We'll probably get tough. All right, tough would be a good keyword to have. No, just fearsome. Not ideal. I was really hoping to get the, the, the two too tough. We're 
already basically dead. I can see like some cool stuff that we're doing now, you know, like this this Thresh Nasus deck is maybe a little too good for us, but I can I can see cool stuff that we're doing. We obviously just have to kill these Reapers, otherwise they kill us. Should've killed Reaper with that thermogenic beam back on like turn two. Not a tier one deck, can't complain. I'm not really sure what the dancing droplet's doing for us. Oh, I guess it's it's just combos with the landmark if we find the landmark for, to get extra cards. So we don't need that. I know the Flurry of Fist plus Young Witch is like part of the combo, but we need to find like without having Adaptatron, I wanted to uh, mulligan and look for Adaptatron. Which I think I can just play on round one. I'm not expecting them to be able to kill it right away on round one. Our hapless aristocrat is good. You're wondering whether or not um, Bloody Caretaker is still good. The answer is absolutely. We got top. We got um, an even smaller one than this Adaptatron. Why? 
All right, let's attack. We're gonna need more room anyway. I'm just gonna pass. I'm gonna keep the rest of the spell man available. Where are you? So I'm gonna try to get like this Adaptatron to have the barrier lifesteal. So new techs. I didn't mark anything. Are they leveling you up yet, Heimer? We're one away. The 8-8 doesn't have any special powers yet. Are they going to have Ruination, right? Like, that's kind of, like, a question. Like, if I just go Progress Day and then and play that, then they play Ruination. I guess if... Oh, they're going to have the... They have the Crystal Arrow, though. It's going to Frostbite everything. I think it's good just to attack with all this stuff. I guess not you or... You can attack. Yeah, you can attack. Wait, you don't have... You don't have Lifesteal? That's lame. I guess I don't want you to attack then. Hmm. I basically want to level up the Heimer, which I guess I should have waited on the Key Guardian. incentivize them playing this crystal arrow. So now I have one mana for, for this syncopation if we need it. Kill Ash. Cool. All right, pass. All right, that was cool.
We got him? We got him! Man, that was awesome. That lifesteal with Adaptatron was really cool. That was truly remarkable. Those are some ninja robots right there. They're like switching spaces and everything. They think they thought that we couldn't block, but then we got the plus one, plus zero quick attack, so we could block. We had some barriers. Yeah, those are some ninja robots right there. Okay, we got Spider Swain. Does whatever a Spider Swain does. All right, Heimer, great. Dancing Droplet, fine. Deny, could protect Heimer, but probably pretty slow. But could protect Heimer, but probably pretty slow. We could maybe, we could maybe do it. Could we keep Heimer plus deny? So like, it's it's round six, right? Like round six, we're gonna want Heimer plus deny. But like, we already have like these two for our early game. Cool. We can kill an Elise on round two. Key Guardian would not protect Heimer from Culling Strike, which is like what I was kind of thinking, like the deny, deny Culling Strike. Shadow Assassin. Silent as death. I must get out of here. Cannot escape. I should probably actually trade with that 1-1. One, one. With my droplet. Ah, uh, Shen. Mm. Okay, well yeah, I can actually, okay yeah, I can save spell mana next round. All right, yeah, we good. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. Yeah, I could see a spider deck rolling calling strike. They could also play crumble. I really don't mind that though. Like, yes, that's bad for me, but it's it's all about Heimer, right? Heimer's just gonna win this game. And so that just slows them down completely, so I don't mind it quite don't mind it at all. Oh that charge's not good. But now I don't get to have Heimer plus deny. But I don't want that thing doing its thing. I should be at 17. I should have blocked the previous round with that. Fear the power of yours. Evidently logical. I don't know why I didn't attack for one elusive. Certainly could have. Leave them nothing. We're at 10. I 10 it is. It was calling strike. Called it. The elusive Adaptatron. Where are you? We made it, Rim. I want to go home. Man, I hope they're not going to have ruination. I am going all in. I really hope they don't have ruination. Get me 
out of here. Okay. Could have leveled up Heimer with both of these. The quick attack's not really that important that I like need to. Wait, what happened to my four one? Oh, my four one died to. Oh no. Go down to four. Oh, I don't want to use this flurry of fist yet, though. All right, gonna risk it. Yeah, the four one died to whale. The eye of twilight sees all. Destination in sight. Bring oh no. Alright, so stun, stun, stun. Alright, I probably messed up. I should have blocked. I messed this game up. Can I can I theor theoretically do 15 damage? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 13, 14, 15? I guess I theoretically have 15 damage if they have nothing that stops me. I guess this would have been a lot easier if I would have just used it on that turret. Fifteen, right? It's exactly fifteen. It's all elusive. But they have nothing that stops me. Fifteen. No, don't have a spell. Oh, so close. So close. These teams were unbalanced. Real quick attack. We got really, we got really punished for not. Yeah, but drawing that other plus one, the du the other double attack card, I got really punished for not using that double attack and blocking. All right, so that that game was winnable. I didn't play it perfectly. Lulu Z. Lulu Z. So ideally we wait till after Heimer um, for production surge. I do have two production surges though. I could just use one right now. I don't love that. I was thinking like if they, you know, if they would have played either champion, I would have thermogenic beam champion. I'll just take this. And then putting the key guardian on the Shen so it sees the first barrier. Enforced equilibrium.
Adaptatron 3000. Got your back. I feel like I just gotta do it. I'm not sure I play Heimer right now, but it's if I play, yeah, I think I just gotta do it. Try to block a couple of these things. The support decks can be kind of tough like this. Like this isn't this isn't an easy attack just to try to figure out exactly what you want to do. So I'm guessing they have sharp sight if they're because that card already has barrier, so not really too much use of giving it quick attack and barrier. But they must have sharp sight. But that's okay. That's a that's a good amount of like resource equity that they're using to kill the Shen. I'm. I think that's okay. Down to just two cards left. So, theoretically, it should give me, yeah, two zero cost. Which two zero cost will just be good blockers. Innovation must begin somewhere. I, can, I can have my one three challenge the Fleet Feather Tracker, but it's not great against spells. But right now, they just kind of just open attack, kill my Heimer. Hmm. I want the 1-3 to kill the tracker, or at least attempt. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Okay. For the, for the cost of two health. Got a spell out of their hand. Okay, let's see what we got. Key Guardian. So if I want to go for Elusive on this uh, six mana, but I think I want to go for five. Let's see, if I go for five mana, that's not easy to get to five mana though. Because I, I wanted to get a quick attack first and then Flurry of Fist, but I guess I, I'd have to cast the Flurry of Fist first to get it to five mana for the quick attack. I don't know what, this isn't going to be easy. I guess we do it this way. Actually, yeah, we use... Okay, no, yeah, you just use Young Witch for quick attack. What am I doing? Probably could have barrier the Young Witch. Yeah, I should have barrier the Young Witch. Yep, should have barrier the Young Witch, because then, then I would have been able to play the 2-1 Challenger, and then with Toph... Um, now I can't barrier anything. This game can be difficult sometimes. Yeah, I... Yeah. Okay, well that was not the correct play. Come on, Rip. Two one. Okay, so I'm not gonna be able to do double attack.
a bunch of challengers with barrier. That's pretty cool. All right, so I could have done this better than what I ended up doing. But hopefully this is just good enough. But that, that could have gone better. Alright, so they got both their champions. This is focus speed? I need to deny it. Let me deny. Ooh, go on barrier there. I thought they were do vulnerable on Heimer. Oh, I'm fine with this. I'll block all day. As long as I can keep those two alive. Go down to four. Production surge for our ninja robots. Yes, ninja robot 3000. Yes. So this one over here has Overwhelm. These two in the middle don't, because you know, it came after that. So we'll get rid of one of these two. Which I guess well, I guess these are two ones, and that's a 1-1. One, one. So do I want a 2-1 with no Overwhelm, or a 1-1 one, one with Overwhelm? I guess a 2-1, no Overwhelm's better. Rally. I could block and then put this T-Hex down, but... The T Hex blocking the Zed seems to make sense. Yeah, the 1 1 Overwhelm. That clutch. Overwhelm. Alright, so both our champions are dead, and, and yes, it would have made a lot more sense to block the other way. I guess I, I could have had this thing be a 3-1 a instead of a 3-2, which I guess makes sense with the Adaptron. Mobby. They did draw a spell for me to deny. They're probably not drawing another one of those. Um, Quick Attack Challenger. Could I just play another T-Hex? Gotta actually cast the T-Hex for 8 mana. <laughs> GG's. Okay, there we go. A couple of T-Hexes finish it out. Ninja Robots 3000 with the win. Two and two, truly remarkable. We're playing against Ash Kindred again. This was a the deck that we won for our first one. That was a crazy game that we won for the first one. I guess I'm just keeping Heimer and Mulligating the rest of these. <laughs> this deck is 200 IQ. Trip to the grocery store. Did you went to the grocery store? You only missed three games. Because these games haven't gone that long. We're at 45 minutes right now for four games. It's not like too too bad. This would be a good monastery hand. 
We get that Monastery of Hirana. I feel like that's gonna get uh, Vile Feasted, but oh well. Key Guardians. Key Guardian doesn't really do anything here, but it, it does cycle, I guess. It's probably worth just spending two mana just to cycle, just draw a new card. Yeah, it was a really exciting match last time. We've, we've had some really exciting games with this deck, and just today in general. Uh, no, I guess I play this. Might as well. Whoa, we got a brand new Twitch Prime sub, JDC. Y'all get some hype votes in the chat to show some love for our new sub. That means we're gonna have some bonus stream today, hitting our sub goal. Thank you, JDC. So yeah, after this game, we'll we'll play a little, we'll play some extra games. Okay. We're not gonna yeah, we're not gonna do the double attack yet. Probably just Probably just passing. I waste three mana if I pass. I guess I could key guardian, but I kinda wanna wait till after Heimer to play that anyway, so yeah, I'm just gonna pass. So they're going to, whoa, Saucy with the raid. Thank you, JDC. All right, um, all the new people, welcome, welcome, welcome. So we have a deck that we're calling Ninja Robots 3000, because we're trying to use Adaptatron at 3000. As far as what I got going on right here, I guess. And then Saucy, man, man, look at these Ninja Robots. Um, I guess. Man, what do I want to do? So, so you got to assume that they have Brittle Steel, right? So like if I play Heimer, they Brittle Steel Heimer and challenge with the 3-2. So then I have to Flurry of this because the barrier doesn't protect. Uh, I don't really like my options. What if I pass? They probably don't just pass, right? Yeah, they're going to kill all my stuff. Kill my Young Witch. Which is sad. Which is sad. Really want to draw an Adaptatron 3000. Which we have done a very good job of drawing Adaptatron 3000 so far. So I guess I'm going Progress Day next round? A really good Undying deck. This progress day will help me dig for the Adaptatron. If I do Production Surge, we would level up Heimer. We did not find Adaptatron. I just like them using the wasting all their mana right there and not playing anything else. I know I, I like I could have played a dancing drop that could have attacked for a decent amount, but I liked them not using any mana. Key Guardian Shen and then play Shen. How close are you at zero out of five? That's not very that's not very many. You're at 8 out of 12. Oh, I like Syncopation. Two worlds, one. I like Syncopation. Show me a target. Do 
I'll just let this happen if they want to. This will level up Heimer. And you gotta assume that they are a Ruination deck. They're gonna be playing like Ruination next round, which is gonna make me super sad. Oh, I have Deny. I guess I don't need to be that worried about that because I have to deny. Okay, so four for so I got nine mana. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, uh, everything costs eleven. I wanted to, if I want to, because I want to elusive this T Hex and quick, quick attack it and then double attack it. They're just gonna frostbite it though if I just do all that. So NBD. Um, okay, well. What else? What else can we do? That's cool. We can, I guess, just elusive it and then attack. Sorry, Shen. All right, cleared out their board just a little bit. Don't really know what I'm supposed to use these iterative improvements on. Guess we'll wait. Where's our Adaptatron 3000? Ooh, I like that card. A true Felyorian welcome. My aim is yeah, right? All the other games we've had Adaptatron 3000 and not having Adaptatron makes things a lot worse. have as many blockers as possible. Swiftly now. Arrows at the ready. <gasps> She's gonna be so happy. Progress mm. waits for no one. Back. Me taking one damage. I don't really want to take a damage. Interesting solution. Could barrier life steal the six one, but then they can brittle steal it. So I think I just let this all happen. Just when I needed assistance. Where's our Adaptatron? So that card's good, but I gotta spend all that mana on it. 
but it's a good way to kill Ash. My life for Everosa. So iterative doesn't make exact copies. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't make exact copies. So like it wouldn't it wouldn't pick up the barrier lifesteal. It's risky, but the barrier lifesteal is just always gonna be risky against this deck. Okay, cool. No bro steal. Alright, so they have the Crystal Arrow, we know about that. I'm kinda out of cards. Kinda out of cards. Not a very good draw. Let fly. Show me a target. Come to the Oh, right, this is going to get frostbitten. I was going to say I'm still fine, but that's going to get frostbitten. Barely lethal. I'll protect the villages. So close. Yeah, it looks like I need to save the deny, I guess, for the Crystal Arrow. Um, I don't know if I, I think we're probably dead with double Withering Whale. If I'm not, you know, if I'm not denying one of those Withering Whales, I think that we're probably dead anyway. Um, but yeah, really cool deck, really cool deck here. The Ninja Robots 3000. No Adaptatron. That last game made it made it super sad for sure. Um, definitely wish we had those Adaptatrons. Um, I really like the Syncopation in here. Like that card did a lot of work. Um, a lot of our interaction did. The, the droplets didn't do very much because we just don't really have recall. I mean, I guess we have the one monastery, but even kind of thinking about it, like the monastery also just kind of takes up a board spot where, as you, as you saw, like our board spots are really valuable because we run out right away with having all these turrets. So I could see just, just having, instead of monastery and droplet, maybe having like some more protection type stuff or or defensive type cards maybe like another you know another syncopation another deny another spirits refuge like spirits refuge looked really good with the lifesteal um so i could see having some more of those kind of cards um or even like some <clears throat> um like a a mystic shot or get excited or something like that um also just have a little bit other removal that, that we didn't have to tap out completely, but I don't know. Those are those are just some other options, other things to think about. Um, but yeah, this was this was really cool. That was a lot of fun. Um, pretty janky. This is this is what Meme Tier Monday is all about. Uh, having some crazy combos and trying to pull it off. You know, having because like so like that that game super close, barely lost it. The game against Swain. Remember how like that was super close, barely lost that. Like we had the. Um, the double attack elusives that we were actually attacking for 15, attacking for lethal, but they had the fervor to kill us. Um, so we played some really close, really cool games, very interesting games. 
with this deck. Ninja Robots 3000. And then whenever we had the Adaptatron going, we got to do some really cool stuff with um, Adaptatron sharing keywords. All right, that's awesome deck. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Hopefully y'all really enjoyed this meme tier deck here and just meme tier Monday in general today. We had a lot of awesome decks. All right, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.